Well, in my previous video of the American Fluorescent Corporation ST Series Fluorescent Strip Light Fixture, I showed you my Robertson S40B preheat ballast, which was made to run a 40 watt T12 tube like this General Electric one I have laying back here. However, I was using it to run a Sylvania F32T8 lamp primarily, and while it will start and run the F32T8 lamps, what happened I found annoying was that it would flicker a lot from a cold start from, from the point where I turn on the lamp to about three to five minutes later when the tube was warmed up. So I decided in the long term if I'm gonna run a F32T8 tube, Instead of the F40 tube, I would use the ballast that was meant for the, an F32 T8 tube. So I switched out the Robertson ballast with uh, another ballast. I found this ballast at Canning's Ace Hardware in La Habra. Those of you who've seen my Ace Hardware visit video, that's the hardware store I got this from called an advanced power cut energy saver ballast and it's unique in the fact that it uses both magnetic and electronic components in it. While most of the ballast is magnetic as you could tell by its size and how much it weighs and not to mention it makes a humming sound when it's running, the actual starting and operation of the lamp is carried out by an electronic circuit it uses a rapid start starting technique and what it does is the power cut circuit as the, they call it would cut the power out to the filaments after the lamp is started to save energy kinda like a electronic program start ballast but this is magnetic by the way advanced still makes these ballasts they're actually covered in the electronic ballast section of Advanced Transformers website even though technically it's a magnetic ballast. I heard, read that these used to be called the Mark IV energy saver ballast and I believe it fell somewhere between the Mark III energy saver magnetic ballast like the one I had in my kitchen and a fully electronic Mark V ballast that Advance also makes. I had to do a little bit of change to the wiring since this is a rapid start ballast. I also, uh, I saved it the knockout that I punched out for the starter socket when I was using the Robertson ballast, but I now taped it back on with electrical tape from the back and it holds it quite well. Oh yeah, and I also uh, added a cord and a plug to the this fixture so I no longer have to stick wires into the end of an extension cord to turn it on. I believe uh, we'll go for start right now. Oh yeah, even though this is a F32T8 ballast, I have ran F40T12 fluorescent lamps on it as well and it does just fine. It, they, the F40T12 tubes do seem to be a little dim, dimmer than usual. I don't know if it's because I'm using this ballast, but this is an older tube, as you could tell by the shape of their logo. So I'll put this cover back on and I'll put the GE, I'll put the GE F40T12 tube in first for you to see. Then we'll switch to the then we'll switch to the Sylvania F32T8 tube that's supposed to be in there. This is a rapid start ballast, by the way, so when I turn it on, it'll just look, flicker a bit and then get bright. So I'll turn off this light right here so you can see it easily, and we'll go plug in the power. And here we go. Okay, so this is the F40 General Electric tube running on the pop power cut F32T8 ballast.
Let me unplug it. Now we'll put the Savania F32 T8 tube in. Once again, this is a rapid start circuit, so it will just flicker a bit and come on, unlike those in newer instant start electronic ballasts, which just light up instantly. Oh, and by the way, since this is a magnetic ballast, there is a bit of a 60 hertz flicker when you look closely at the tube, unlike the electronic ballast, which run at a much higher frequency, and you don't get a flicker out of them. So, and there you go, the advanced power cut F32T8 ballast, over and out.